Well, we find ourselves here in Birmingham, Alabama today, and this is one of the interviews I've really looked forward to. This man is Mr. Michael Short from the Iroquois Nation, Mohawk Tribe, and Turtle Clan. Uh, say gone, Michael. Say what now? <laughs> <laughs> and Michael, I had a few questions for you, if you don't mind. Um, number one, Michael, in your opinion, where do we all come from? Where do we all come from? In my opinion, we come from, from our Father in Heaven. And, yeah, ultimately. Okay, and in your time here on Mother Earth, what lessons has she taught you? What lessons she has taught me? I would say, and I think I obsess about this a lot, <laughs> eternal... <laughs> okay. It's taught me eternal laws, I think. That's a... Uh, Something that always stands out to me, or that there's always been a consistency and a purpose behind everything that's done, and there's things that are taking you into an eternal perspective. Things have their motion and their season and their timings. Things appear to have a beginning and end, but then they start again. Just like uh, that's morning and night and the seasons, <laughs> the revolutions of the earth. Yet it doesn't have an end because it keeps going. And so there's something about that eternal nature that fascinates me, and that I that I want to discover more about. Now these next questions are optional, Michael. Um, what has been the greatest moment of your life? I know I've had a greatest moment in my life. I might not be able to put a thumbtack on it just yet, just now. But I would say my greatest moment in my life. Maybe it's a little bit more broad. Just the idea that we have our life and have our existence and have this opportunity to live and to experience happiness as well as to experience sadness sometimes. That's a part of the game and the part of the a part of how everything works. Okay. So what has been the worst moment of your life? This might be kind of ironic. Certainly, um, I, I had the opportunity to serve a mission, and it was great. There's, <laughs> I'm not saying it's the worst part of my life at all, but there was uh, just certain moments that were very difficult and very strange to me, and I didn't know how I was going to get past, and I didn't understand what was going on. I was pretty sure I was going to die both physically, emotionally, and spiritually in every way possible, but somehow I made it. And I would say, I can't cite it perfectly, but just certain points that I experienced, but I understood, or now I understand, I can see the big picture, but back then it was anything tough. I can remember. And, and just so the rest of the world knows, it's a two-year mission in Montana, mm -hmm. which is almost like an uh, alien planet <laughs> compared to Birmingham, Alabama, or Massillon, Ohio, is where I first met you, right? Did I pronounce that right? Uh, Massillon. <laughs> Massillon, yes. Ohio, which is just below Cleveland, um, forget what other, Akron, Ohio. You're just below Akron, Ohio also. And that's where I first met you, but you've been to Montana and all the way back, and you survived. Mm -hmm. So tell me, uh, in your opinion, what advice do you have for the rest of us creatures on planet Earth? 
So for all of us. <laughs> yeah, for the rest of us. To acknowledge opposition and to acknowledge our eternal nature. I feel like yeah. if there's anything I would want to tell everyone, if we understand those principles and those laws, it will help us to live better lives and to work with each other to under we don't we don't have a mind to hurt one another when we realize that we're all eternal there's not something we can give and take or we there's nothing that can be dysfunctional about living forever both before and and the end or before and forever <laughs> And now the question I've been dying to ask you, Michael, is how do you feel about being native? Native. It's actually, I feel, a very great honor. It, it ties a lot with uh, my family and us cultur culturally, as well as spiritually, too. Yeah. There is a lot of significance to the native... R r r native... <laughs> the natives and how we view our perspective of the spiritual world and our purposes here in life. Michael, I cannot thank you enough. You've made my trip wonderful here to beautiful Birmingham, Alabama. <laughs> thank you.